but people, Jasmine subscribers, been starting shit since last night. That's what it is, because if I really wanted to come out here and tell Jazzy's business, I would have been, and listen, before I even say this, I'm going to say that she already said this on a live, so don't try to make it seem like something that it's not, but I would have been said about her having her little sexcapade in Houston, because she told me that our first conversation, that she fucked somebody out there. If that was my intentions, I would have been, came to YouTube and told everybody that. I don't give a fuck about that. She called my phone talking crazy, saying that, well, it sounds like you on this uh, email to my, or this voicemail to my apartment complex. Send me the video, because I guarantee you know the fuck it down. And out of 45,000 people, it's me. All right. I don't even know where you live. Your address is leaked and I still don't know where you live. <laughs> she don't give a fuck where you no, live. No, and last night she texted me saying, well, people are saying that you're calling CPS. Why are you believing fucking strangers? What? Mommy? Yes, ma'am. I guess I did that shit to myself when I told Philip to check in on his kids. Since he said he doesn't trust this dude. And she's been leaving the kids there with him. So I just said, check on your kids. See what's up. Okay, if it's nothing, it's nothing. Like, and I probably, you know, and I said, like, okay, I might have overstepped my boundaries with that. But it wasn't no ill intent towards Jasmine going on. Like, fully. She says she doesn't watch youtube like that or jasmine's videos like that so she's pretty pretty much only knows what jasmine is telling her yeah. now now i don't give a fuck you're messy too bitch because i bet you be in them reactions too fuck exactly and i wouldn't even be on this youtube shit if it was not for her running my business Telling a story that was not hers to fucking tell. No, sugar. I told him to check on his kids. And like I had just said, I might have overstepped my boundaries. I can see it both ways. And I apologized for it. There's no reason for me to call CPS. If I have an issue, I'm going to either come to you about it. Or come to Philip about it. Most likely Philip, just because me and you, we don't have a relationship at all. And whenever we do talk, it's pretty much hostile. I mean, we've been chilling for the most part, but like now that you've called me and started all this shit, and now Philip's sister is in it, it's just too much and it's too far. And really, I'm just like sick of this YouTube shit. Maybe DD or something. But I might be like reactors lives and she questioned me about that like first of all don't question me about where i go in my phone who the fuck cares please yeah he says he's getting out at the end or no the beginning of next year so i i swear i'm not peeing i don't know he says He's getting out at the beginning of the next year. Who knows? Because he lies all the time. I'm just like, okay. Well, when you get out, you you ain't coming here. Yeah, I'm, you know, happy and whatnot, but shit. Don't come calling my phone with this bullshit. Because if I called CPS, I would have texted you, called you, and told you that I called CPS and why I called CPS. You got 45 thousand subscribers that's 45,000 fucking problems really oh my god y'all are in here clowning <laughs> stop that <laughs> I'm gonna get another fucking phone call but yeah and I don't know why people are tripping about me being in reactors lives like uh, why does that matter who cares Everybody else is fucking laughing and kikiing and listening to the tea and whatnot, but I can't because right. of our ties. She doesn't know. She doesn't know who it is, and her ass is paranoid because her address is leaked. 
That's really all it is. Like, there's a whole bunch of people that have an issue with you. It could be anybody. <laughs> Literally, anybody. <laughs> it could be the motherfucking mailman. <laughs> and if you read on LSA, okay, they say, well, I'm going to call CPS, keep my foot on her neck. I'm going to call her apartment complex and see if they know about her new tenant. And I told her, I was like, you oh, oh, oh your new tenant. They be saying that shit. Your new tenant, Chris. Witness <laughs> protection. I'm sick of you. Put her in the witness protection. Oh, shit. Put Asia in witness protection. That's you already got it out for you. I don't know, Philip was having a ball. Uh. She's in here? Oh! What's up, Jasmine? Oh! oh, oh, oh. Jasmine's in the building. I sent her. Yeah, don't don't block her. What? Mommy. Mommy. How is it a whole different vibe from us on the phone? Mommy. mommy. I told you that it's not me. Mommy. <laughs> mommy. Mommy. Jasmine's in the building. Mommy. Y'all, stop calling that girl radio. Dang, you guys are fucking ruthless. Where is that? What is going on? I'm not. Jazzy said. Look, Jazzy said. Jazzy said. I'm not understanding this live. <laughs> it's a whole different vibe from the, on the phone yesterday. Oh, I'm on the wrong stuff here. Wow. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Damn, Jazzy, why you come on to lie? You know damn well it didn't call CVS. Your neighbors is... Jasmine, you act like I'm in here talking big shit about you, but I'm not. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I want all the smoke. Like, don't be mad because I'm fucking live and I'm talking about you calling my phone, talking crazy and delusional. Delusional, like, Jazzy. Jazzy said, Jazzy, Jazzy said, Jazzy said, Jazzy said, I ain't it worried really about is, them. Mo D. Clearly, I don't know what's going on. Thanks for the view. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Isha. That's how you feel? Y'all need to get fine. along. Y'all need to just get along. That. Exactly. You know she was saying, you changed up, really? really? What she say? What Jazzy said? She said, Jazzy said, wow, this is crazy.